when I was a child, we used to spend the summer in the in a very rural place of France, where my grandparents had a, their, their farm. And, and I'm not super old, as you can see. Uh, nevertheless, I remember when we started to have running water. So the, in the summer, when I was very, very little, my mother would go to the pound to wash clothes. And one day we got running water. I remember uh, in France, there was one year that they changed all the telephone number because they ran out of numbers. And so they realized that to change the system. So the entire country changed telephone numbers. It's a major operation. I remember when we got our first TV. I remember when we got our first dishwasher. There was no dishwasher. Uh, I remember also when the country changed the electrical system from 110 voltage to 220, the entire country. Uh, it's, it's not that old, it was in the, in the, I think it was in the 80s, 1980. Okay. So the, because the 110 was, uh, it's not very uh, efficient for transporting electricity. So 220 is better. Of course, I remember the beginning of the internet. I remember actually somebody writing me, do you do email to a letter? You know, he sent me a letter, do you do email? Okay. Uh, that was in the early nineties. Uh, I certainly remember the arrival of the mobile phone. I also uh, remember when we got our first phone because phones actually were not even home phones. Uh, when, when I was a child, maybe my grandparents had their, their home phone, but, but my parents, we didn't have a phone. I mean, my parents were not very rich and we just didn't have a phone. Uh, I also remember when we changed all the currency in France. We went from the French franc to euro. That was in uh, 2000, I think. Um, I also remember when I acquired a new citizenship because I was French and I became uh, at some point an American citizen. Um, when I was a child, we did not travel at all. Uh, my parents had no means to travel. And, and there was a time I took my the first large plane to come to this country. Uh, that was in the 1990s. Uh, I'm one of those people who became cosmopolitan. I'm, 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 I have no pride nor shame to admit that I'm one of those people who ride the road to globalization. And so I have connections in North America. Part of my family is in Europe. Part of my family is in Asia. And I've been traveling around all these countries, which when I think of myself when I was a child, was unthinkable, just unthinkable. But when I look at just myself and, and reflect on these questions, I'm actually really amazed by how much my life has changed in a way that I could not foresee at all when I was way younger. And at the same time, in my inner self conversation, I am still who I was when I was 16, say. Not when I was five, but I think when I was 16, 18, uh, I, I, I have to a great extent, the same ideals, the same enthusiasm. And around all that changes, there is this core, which is, I think, very stable. 